اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم As part of formative measurement model evaluation, we sometimes have to decide on whether or not to delete an indicator. Now let's say vision is our formative model. Now vision is formed by 1, 2, 3, 4 indicators. Now let's say we have ran our collinearity diagnostics, we have seen our indicator weights and we have assessed our loadings as well. Now If there is an issue with any of these statistics, what should I do? Shall I remove these indicators or not? In this particular session, we are going to focus on that. An important question is, shall we delete a formative indicator or shall we retain a formative indicator? Now, what are the conditions under which we delete an indicator from a formative model? When deciding whether to delete formative indicators based on statistical outcomes, researchers need to be cautious for the following reasons. First, formative indicators weights are function of number of indicators used to measure a construct. The greater the number of indicators, the lower their average weight. So they are inversely proportional. Formative measurement models are inherently limited in the number of indicator weights. that can be statistically significant not all the indicators weight will be significant so you should not strongly only rely on the indicator weights second indicators should seldom be removed from formative measurement models since formative measurement requires the indicators to fully capture the entire domain of a construct now if you remove one of the indicators now then the formative measurement model may not be complete they actually form the formative indicators they are not replaceable or interchangeable as defined by the researcher in the conceptualization stage now this is in total contrast to reflective measurement model formative indicators are not interchangeable now just removing one will make this formative model pointless it may not be complete important is that formative indicators with non significant weights should not be automatically removed from the measurement model since this step may compromise the content validity of the construct and how you have conceptualized the construct for example let's say i've conceptualized a construct csr in my study as something that is economic legal ethical and philanthropic now as part of my analysis if you if i just remove the economic dimension then the content validity is sacrificed again just based on the indicator weights i cannot delete my formative indicators there are other statistics that one should look into as well now look at this first of all have a look at your indicator weight significance testing Sig- test the significance of your indicator weights now if they are significant no issues you can continue now what if they are insignificant now you have to assess the factor loadings now if the loadings are greater than 0.5 go ahead there is no issue but what if the loading is less than 0.5 then you will have to assess whether the loading is significant or not now if the loading is significant you may consider its removal but if it affects the content validity do not remove the indicator but if it's less than 0.5 then you can delete the formative indicator 